So on behalf of Chebrol Hanuman Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, a warm greetings and welcome to all the participants, particularly today's speaker, Dr. Rahul Taneja sir, who has readily accepted our invitation to be a part of this impact lecture series. And he is going to deliver a talk on innovation and intellectual property rights today. A warm welcome to you, sir on this August occasion. And at the same time, on behalf of Chebrol Harma Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, it is my profound responsibility to express my deep sense of gratitude to AICT, Ministry of Education, Innovation Cell, and Institutions Innovation Council for uh, sponsoring this particular impact lecture series to this institution. and. At this outset, our inno institutional innovation cell convener, Dr. RLC Sesidhar, has taken an initiative to organize this impact lecture series in two sessions. Today, the first session is going to start with uh, uh, the lecture give, to be given by Dr. Rahul Tanejasar, who is also a scientist, patient information center, intellectual property field station. Uh, Center for MSMEs, Department of Science and Technology, Government of Haryana. On this August occasion, it is always very, very important for a pharmacy fraternity that we being the uh, pharmacy and science background fraternity, we always need to be indulged in research activities. So this research is not just for the sake of achieving the degrees or something. And our research is mainly to be focused on global purpose. So our pharmacy field is mainly related to the development of drugs and pharmaceuticals. Our drugs and pharmaceuticals are more responsible for well-being of the health of the entire global platform. As we have seen in, during that pandemic time, our Indian pharma traders have taken initiative in, the, uh, in producing the drugs which are already existing for saving the so many lives of patients who have suffered with COVID and other ailments. And at the same time, Indian, when it comes to the Indian forefront, our Indian pharma market is focusing on research activities, but we are not in a position to achieve the patents related to the products that we are going to develop. As of now, in Indian pharma market, we have the process patents in the pharma related aspects, but product patents are very, very less. And in future, our Indian pharma market need to focus on product development and uh, patents that are related to the products so that the product which we are going to produce which we are going to get the patent. It will be live for 20 years. And we are the pioneer in producing the cost-saving drugs for the global market. As we know that earlier, there are several countries produced several new drug molecules, which are patented. And those drugs are marketed at a very higher cost. When it comes to Indian forefront, our Indian marketing agencies and our Indian manufacturers are producing the same type of product by getting the process patent, which we are going to sell it in the market at a lower cost. So that is always beneficial for the common man who are suffering with several types of ailments. With this brief introduction, and it is very apt for all the young pharma fraternity to uh, mainly focus on patenting process rather than simply doing the research activities. With this brief introduction, I once again cordially invite and welcome Dr. Rahul Taneja sir for immediately accepting our, uh, our invitation. Thank you, sir, for, uh, for accepting our invitation, for being a part of our impact lecture series. And I once again thank you, sir. Now. I am requesting Dr. Sesidhar to take the uh, proceedings further. Thank you, sir. Good 
very good morning sir on account of uh, his expertise in uh, intellectual property rights today we are uh, glad to invite rahul taneja to share his views and uh, prospects in ipr to our participants rahul taneja is working as scientist patent information center intellectual property facilitation center for uh, msme haryana state council for science and technology dst government of haryana panchkula his professional degrees including masters in intellectual property law masters of pharmacy master of business administration international business postgraduate diploma in uh, intellectual property rights and patent practices trainer of a uh, world intellectual property organization and postgraduate diploma in uh, drug regulatory affairs and uh, clinical rights as a scientist at the council for science and technology he facilitates the micro small and medium entrepreneurs and enterprises of uh, haryana and chandigarh for ipr related issues he also promoting and facilitating the research scholars doctorates and scientists for protection of intellectual property rights and to protect their invention and innovation he also awarded as a significant contribution in healthcare by all india council of medical research all india council of medical sciences new delhi he has 15 journal publications on various ipr issues and concepts beside articles in various newspapers and newsletters he delivered so many views related to ipr through all india radio and various international platforms also as well dr taneja conducted various conferences and training programs on ipr in various institutions and industrial associations including ministry of msme haryana msme luthiana national institute of technology kurukshetra gurujambeshwar university delhi university punjab university itm university bps mahila vishwavidyalaya chitkara university shulini university phd chamber of commerce and industries aso camp fiki franchise of india prestigious pharmacy colleges various engineering colleges management as well as professional institutes with this small introduction i invite dr rahul taneja to carry out the session sir thank you so much uh, shashidhar sir respected dr s vidyadhar dr pavan kumar other faculty members and dear students today is topic is innovation and intellectual property rights what is the role of ipr for the development of our country for the development of pharmaceutical companies and for the development of individual also we will discuss every aspects of intellectual property rights in detail from starting to end i will cover uh, uh, approximate all the aspect of intellectual property rights i hope you will understand in details what is the benefit of ipr and how it actually play a role in our daily routine also i am dr rahul teja working as a scientist for government of haryana uh, basically i am a pharmacist i did uh, b pharmacy m pharmacy and phd besides this i also did master of intellectual property rights and uh, i am delivering a lecture on ipr uh, approximate from last 10 to 12 years uh, across the country to aware the people about intellectual property rights and uh, how our country can grow in the field of ipr intellectual means creation of human mind human mind property that belongs to you and which is having a some particular type of rights on that property that is called property rights there are two type of property tangible property and intangible property tangible property we have own car own vehicle own office so the property which is having in a tangible form which is it is called a tangible property but besides this we have a some certain type of rights on the tangible property we can sell uh, our property we can give on rent also we can give to any person at free of cost also so we have a particular type of rights on the property any that type of property having a some type of certificate like also we have a vehicle we have a registration certificate we have a own house we have a 
registry by the uh, issued by some different type of bodies means every property is protected by the every different type of bodies similarly we have intangible assets intangible assets is like we can protect every aspect of intellectual assets of our uh, human mind like somebody are scientists some are uh, human creates some are tech developing some new type of tech techno creates some are developing new type of brands some are developing new types of technology new type of photographs they are clicking different type of portions some are writing a literature some are writing a some different type. so we can protect every aspects of intellectual rights which can be protected which which can be generated by the human rights there are seven different type of intellectual portraits patent trademark industrial designs geographical indications layout designs trade secrets and protection of new plant varieties this is the particularly industrial property but beside this we have one thing that is the copyright copyright basically a which is used for the literary work dramatic work musical work artistic work that is the ex expression of the idea uh, which can be protected by the copyright protect protection so we will discuss about the patent what is the patent patent is an exclusive rights granted for invention it can be a product or it can be a process that depends on you you can protect any type of, of, of product uh, by the way of patent but I suppose if already one product is available in the market and you are developing that type of product by different new way of processes then you can protect also that process also means before 2015 we can protect only the uh, process but now we can protect process as well as the product protected we get a monopoly rights without that nobody can use our invention without our permission nobody can sell our invention without our permission you will get a right for 20 years from the date of filing not from the date of the grant most of the time people get confused the rights start from the date of the filing or date of the um, grant the rights start from the date of the filing but you can claim in the court if somebody can use invention you can claim the damages uh, from the date of the publication of the uh, patent rights what is the criteria of patentability there are three criteria of patentability first one is the novelty second one is the non openness and last one is the industrial applicability novelty means that thing cannot be published anywhere in the world before the filing of the patent application as per the section 12 which is an, which has not been anticipated by in any document or used in the any country before the filing of the patent application suppose if you are going to file some new type of invention and that type of invention is already published in some newspaper journal magazine so such type of invention cannot be filed for the patent application because that thing is already available at the public domain at free of cost if you are distributing by any manner then you can't file for the patent application so be careful when you are going to file a patent application first you have to file the patent application after that you can proceed for the any publication after the filing of the patent you can publish in any journal any magazine because mostly uh, scholars and research scholars and teacher ask me this question sir can we publish our articles after the filing of the patent application? yes you can publish even you can publish up before the filing of the patent before the publication of the patent also because when you are going to file a patent application there is a few steps are there and you have to follow all the steps of the patent process inventive step means every invention have some inventive step means the invention must be technically advanced or economical significance or both it depends on your invention it you can protect any type of new product or process which is a capable of some industrial application then you can file for the patent application what is industrial application industrial application is also play very important role means uh, suppose industrial some 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 of the inventions are having some inventive step having new some things but that is not necessary key. that invention is used for the industrial purposes for example if you are developing some new combined new type of gene cloning that is a new and invention but that is harmful for the uh, uh, society and the uh, for the system so such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application grant of the patent application patent are territorial rights if you are going to file the patent application in india then our rights belongs to the only to the india suppose if you are going to file the patent application outside the india then you can submit by two ways either you can directly apply to that country or you can submit by the pct what is the pct pct is an organization by which you can file a patent application in multiple countries you have to select in which country you are going to file a patent application owner can also apply for the patent application there are two type of opposition pre grant opposition and post grant opposition before the filing of the before the grant of the patent application 
if anybody can uh, oppose your application that is called pre grant opposition and after the grant of the patent application if anybody can oppose you that is called post grant opposition but there is a difference between pre grant and post grant the difference is that before the grant of the patent application anybody can oppose you means that person is not belong to you and that person is not belong to your business and some other type of things but they can oppose you which means on this sub on some some grounds like that invention is already available in the public domain and the invention is not having a patentability patentability aspects and after the grant of the patent application only interested person can oppose it means that the person belongs to your industry belongs to your concern field that person is can oppose you only there are four office on country for northern patent office delhi for southern chennai western mumbai and rest of india kolkata foreigner can also apply for the patent application that depends on the uh, applicant in they are selected by the service how to file a patent application you can submit a patent application by three ways you can submit by online mode you can submit by post and you can submit by hand also it depends on you how you are going to file a patent application for online application you must have class 2 or class 3 digital signature and by post you can submit your application by post also now we will discuss about section 3 exclusion of the patent application we will cover all the sections of the patent application means in a, in a simple language not in a technical language means the people can't understand we can we will discuss with some few examples also section 3 is a frivolous invention an invention contrary to well established natural laws like the machine which gives more than 100% performance cannot be filed for the patent application for kuchel machines means which is established on the some natural laws and the patent cannot be granted commercial exploitation or primary use of invention which contrary to public order and morality so this is very important to understand the invention maybe the invention is new but if it is against contrary to public order and morality such type of things cannot be granted like gambling machine suppose if you are developing some new type of uh, machine which is used for the gambling such type of things cannot be granted for the patent application because this is against the public order and device for house breaking cannot be filed for the patent application but if you are developing some uh, playing games then you can file the patent application playing games can can be filed for the patent application but gambling machine cannot be filed for the patent application. Playing methods cannot be filed for the patent. Means if you are saying that I am the only one who can play such type of thing, things, I have some techniques to play the game. That techniques cannot be filed for the patent application. But the game, if you are developing some new type of playing games, then you can file for the patent application. This is very important to understand by the basic science. The basic science, mere discovery of scientific principle, section three C, formulation of an abstract theory. discovery of any living things discovery of non living substance discovery which is means discovery as such cannot be filed for the patent application as per the newton's law cannot be filed for the patent application superconductive phenomena property of certain materials to withstand mechanical shock discovery of natural microorganisms cannot be filed for the patent application but if you are developing some new type of genetically modified microorganism then you can file for the patent application discovery of any natural gas means means any living substance and non living substance occurring in nature that is called discovery cannot be filed for the patent application because that thing is already available in the nature genetically modified microorganisms can be filed for the patent application this is very important for the pharmaceutical section 3d mere discovery of a new form of a non substance which does not result in the non Announcement of the known efficacy of that substance means the new use of the existing substance patent will not be granted. Suppose if you have some new type of salt, ester, ethers, and you are saying that we are developing new type of a, a, a form of that substance, until unless it does not show the therapeutic efficacy of that substance, then your patent will not be granted. On the basis if you are saying that I am just changing the particle size. i am increasing the solubility on that basis patent will not be granted you have to show the therapeutic changes in your product if no therapeutic changes are there, there then your patent will not be granted because of this reason many pharmaceutical patent is abandoned because of this reason because they are not able to prove that they are a, they are a therapeutically 
different from the existing substance or you can change by the adding some new uh, reactant on the molecule or like new use of aspirin if you can say that i am 12 because if you can say if this is just an example so if you are saying that paracetamol is paracetamol is also used for the diabetic patient and you have developed some new use of the paracetamol and you are not going to change any, any chemical composition any manufacturing process of the paracetamol and you are just saying that i have done some uh, studies and on the basis of studies it shows that paracetamol is also used for the uh, diabetic patient on such basis just because of the new use of the existing substance patent will not be granted you have to add you have to change the manufacturing process you have to change the ingredient or you have to add some new reactant then your patent will be granted mere you use of aspirin as such cannot be filed for the patent application section 3a substance obtained by the mere addition means if you are combining it two compounds suppose if you have a compound a which is showing a antiparietic activity and compound b which is showing a analgesic activity and you are combined both the molecule a and b now you are saying that they are showing showing the activity of antiparietic as well as analgesic activity so this is a obviousness and obviousness things cannot be filed for the patent application you have to prove that invention is non obvious in nature if the invention is non obvious in nature then your patent will be granted section 3f mere arrangement or rearrangement or duplication of device as such cannot be filed for the patent application like for example a bucket fitted with torch an umbrella with fan a cloak in radio in a single cabinet a fleer floor mill provided with a ceiling such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application section 3h the method of agriculture and horticulture cannot be filed for the patent application but if you are developing a new type of machine for the agriculture processes then you can file for the patent application suppose if you are developing new type of equipment for the agriculture but the process used on the land cannot be filed for the patent application by which machine you are using that process they can apply for the patent application but just on the basis of new process patent will not be granted section 3i any process for medical surgical curative prophylactic diagnostic therapeutic or other treatment of human being render them free from the disease cannot be filed for the patent application so this is the example of the surgical process so if you are saying that i can remove tumor by doing such type of techniques can we get a patent rights on the surgical processes patent will not be granted but you will get a patent rights on surgical instrument by which you are going to showing some surgical processes like for example removal of cancer tumor means some people are saying that we are we are a such type of doctors we can do 100 uh, operations in a day and i am the only one doctor who can do such type of things if they are claiming we can we get a patent on these things they no, do not get a patent because this is not a technology this is a surgical processes and on the basis of surgical processes patent will not be granted process leading to therapy method of vaccination the way you are applying a vaccination to the body patent will not be granted blood transfusion body methods cannot be filed for the patent application section 3j plant and animal whole as such cannot be filed for the patent application because plant is already exist in the nature and this is called also called as a discovery but if you can develop some genetically modified a plant and you are developing some different type of species of the plant you can protect by the plant and variety act section 3l a literary work musical work diabetic work therapeutic work and is aesthetic creation including cinematography work cannot be filed for the patent application because if you are singing a song this is not an invention if you are writing a some literature this is not an invention so this is the subject matter of the copyright protection 
section 3m a mere scheme of rule or method of mental act mental act as such cannot be filed for the pretem like if somebody says that yeah, i am the only one who can cross uh, who can do some type of things which is sold some type of crossword puzzle sold in 2 minutes i am the only one in this world if this somebody are claiming such type of things they will get a genius book of record but they will not get a, a patent because this is not an invention and this is a mental act and mental act as such cannot be because as per the patent rights that invention that performance must be done by all the person means that is not a no 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 how art that particular person can be done that can be done by the all the persons section 3 and presentation of information as such cannot be filed for the patent application like so open spoken words visual display symbol symbol can be protected by the trademarks visual display also can be protected by the trademarks and diagram can be protected by the copyright also so this is not a subject matter of the patent rights section 3p traditional knowledge which is already exist in the nature traditional knowledge means the do traditionalization or aggregation of or duplication of known property of traditional traditionally known components or components like for example which is already exist in the public domain for example wow daily property of aldi such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application because this, this is already written in our literature because long back so this is not fulfill the criteria of novelty for the patent rights three parameter is very important novelty non obvious and industrial applicability section 4 invention which is falling under uh, 21 of the atomic energy act are not patentable like uranium beryllium thorium platinum radium graphite graphite such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application because these all are the non patentable inventions so in brief non patentable are atomic energy traditional knowledge scientific principle abstract theory horticulture method uh, which is already exist in the nature like discoveries plants and animals method of agriculture so this thing cannot be filed for the patent application this is the website of government of india by which you can submit your patent application yourself also ipnd ipindia.gov.in you is software is patentable in india yes or no means like 1 mg tata 1 mg application and all this flipkart amazon software as such cannot be filed for the patent application as per the indian patent act but if your software is connected with some hardware then you can file for the patent application itself software cannot be filed for the patent application is software is patentable in usa yes or no software is not patentable in usa our business method is patentable in india yes or no business method is not patentable in india because this is not an invention if you are selling some goods to the person this is not an invention rules and method for doing a business are not be regarded as invention pure business method are as such not be patentable the reason is this because this is not an invention for the patent thing you must require some new type of product or process there are total 30 forms for the patent application for the application initially you have to submit form 1 uh, for grant of patent form 2 provisional specification and complete specification in which all the information are provided by you which are going to file the patent application statement and undertaking under section 3 form 3 and declaration as inventorship form 5 which fees you have to pay for the patent application if you are a natural person small entity or smart up startups and a educational institution previously you have to pay 8000 rupees if you are going to file a patent application by the name of educational institution now you have to pay only 1600 rupees suppose if your applicant is your college name and you are the inventor then you have to file pay only 1600 rupees initially for the patent application this is the useful element in the patent document initially title of the invention then inventor and the location of invent assignee patent application number date of filing portion of the foreign foreign patent cited as a document means all the information given on the patent document every information 
the difference between the inventor and the signee a signee is the person which is authorized by the inventors to file the patent application on the behalf of inventor but in these things a signee having the rights uh, means the rights belongs to the assignee suppose if you are working in some industry and xyz pharmaceutical private limited and you are working as a employee in the xyz pharmaceutical company then you you claim as a inventor not as a assignee because company provides you a resources or it depends on the policy of the company some companies uh, provide some rights to the employees also if they are developing some new type of policy but in mostly in general uh, the rights belongs to the assignee what is the stages of the patent application initially you have to file a provisional specification or complete specification after 18 months it will be automatically published at the patent office website you don't have to do anything it will be automatically published after 18 months but if you don't want to wait for the 18, uh, 18 months then you can request for the early publication also then your patent application will be submit, uh, will be published within one month from the date of the filing early publication fees you can submit any time after the filing of the patent application then your patent will be published within one month from the date of the filing then within 48 months from the date of the provisional specification within 48 months from the date of the provisional specification or complete specification you have to request for the examination that your examination with uh, exam uh, patent will be examined by some examiner after that report will be generated by the examination examiner then you can uh, claim for the patent application then your patent will be granted that is called the uh, if examiner is satisfied with your uh, reply which is issued by uh, on the report which is issued by the patent examiner then after the grant of the patent anybody uh, interested person can approach you that is called post grant of position within 12 months from the date of the filing another one is the trademark so this is all about the patent rights another was the trademark trademark are granted for sign words letter color combination representation so any identification any mark by which people can identify you that is called trademark it may be some type of sign words letter color combination representation the duration of the patent right is unlimited time but you have to renew after every 10 years there are 45 classes of trademark suppose if you are going to file uh, selling some soaps then you have to file class c for medicine class 5 for machine tools class 7 all type of electronic components come class 9 all type of leds comes class 11 all type of textile garments class 24 all type of ready made garments class 25 all type of food milk and milk related plus class 29 all type of uh, uh, food items confectionery products comes 30 trading class 35 all type of educational services come under to class 40 restaurant class 43 and all type of legal services come to class 45 question notice available on the website that don't try to use our brand name if you are going to use our brand name then it leads to the some legal notice comparison of the trademark so in our country india approximate 2000 2 lakh trademark application file per year and for medicine 1 lakh 50000 in china 20 lakh usa 5 lakh and uh, related to medicines 2 lakh this is 28 class for the some toy industries they are applying a brand name so this is the example of the brand name. then you are going to purchase some mineral water then you can purchase a bottle without a label maybe you are in dilemma is the quality of the product but trademark does not represent the quality it protects only the branding how it look like can you purchase now you can easily purchase a bottle with a label means you have a some trust it is having a some quality can you purchase now without uh, if some spelling is different can you purchase now so this is this is called a some look like a similar but you don't say this is a duplicate or counter it look like a similar brand obviously this is a counterfeit products but we can't say it's a duplicate 
Brisleri has own value reputation. It is owned by Brisleri. It is against some practice. They have developed their identity in the market, and people can easily trust from the Brisleri. Identify the symbol. Obviously, this is the symbol of the Nike, but it looks like a mark, like a tick mark. Tick mark. This this tick mark took forty years to develop their branding in the market. Initially, it is in a blue color, and with the symbol of a Nike. Now, on the basis of the symbol, people can identify this product is belongs to the Nike. There are four type of trademark. Trademark in which you are supplying some products, some goods. This is called a trademark. Service marks which in which we provide some services. Collective mark supplied by the group of association. Certification mark like ISO, ISO, Gold mark, Egg mark, Mercedes Lions. These all are the well-known marks. These all are the trademarks. Six a.m. to ten p.m. We are using all type of branding. And all are these registered brand. I hope you understand this chart. Suppose if you are uh, awake at six a.m. First one thing is the watch, and the watch is by the brand name of Ajanta and Citizen or some other brands. And that brand is obviously registered by the trademark. Six thirty toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpaste is also protected by the trademark. Then coffee tea is also protected by the brand name. Then soaps, that old life boy, jam, food, mango. Nine if if you are traveling some colleges, some university, then you are driving by some drive by some own vehicle. Then after that laptop, you have a different type, Lenovo, I the CLSP that is also protected by the brand. It's everything you know daily routine at the according to the time schedule which you are using a brand name different type and all the brand names are protected by the trademarks. This is example of this some look like a similar counterfeit products, Dominic and Domino's. Hyundai Hyundai. So this is example of this some cosmetic brands. And now in in our country, cosmetics plays a very important role for the pharmacists also because cosmetic business is developing in our country at a very high growth. And now people are using the cosmetic brands like sunscreen cream and the fairness cream. Fair and lovely now becomes glow and lovely. And I hope people now get glow instead of fear. And fair my love. So. Obviously, some people say that this is a counterfeit and this is a duplicate product. But I can't say this is a duplicate product. Obviously, if you are selling a fairness cream, then fair word is obviously used by some company. But if you are saying this is a counter, then obviously this is a counterfeit product. Because if you can see the font style of Four and Love and for this, it is also look like a similar the font shape and if you can see the positioning of and that is also similar. So this is a, again. Example of the counterfeit. Product. This is against this is the red case or red infringement case, trademark infringement case. Everything is okay. Okay is no okay because Ola is there, and it's also example of the the shape of the goods is also protected by the trademark protection. Means we can protect shape of the goods by the trademark protection. This is a case of the Jaipur. The people are selling a product fruit in. They are defending that we are selling a fruit fruit juice in this, so we are writing a fruit in. And this is a direct case of infringement. The story. Now this is very important to understand because we are pharmacists, and this slides play a very important role. And this is my request to you kindly understand what is the basic uh, things of the trademark. Suppose if you are purchasing a doctor. Uh, Prescribe you as some medicine by the name of Medjol 200 for the allergic preparation. Itra kona jol 200. And if you are moving some other state, other country, or some other uh, district, then you are asking the uh, uh, chemist, can you provide a Medjol? Maybe they can provide you a Medjol Ismaprazol or Medjol Albendazol. And if you can see, there is a lot of difference in the uses and the category of the itra kona jol and Ismaprazol. Means if some people can take a wrong medication because of the similar brand names, it's it's a life threatening also. So if you are using someone else brand name, it is a criminal offense as well as civil offense. It comes into into the criminal and civil offense. But patent rights of uh, patent infringement comes under into the only civil offense. But this comes under into the criminal as well as the civil offense. So this is my request to all the pharmacists. Kindly read chemical labels and teach your family member 
aware the family member and the tc kindly read chemical name your friends also don't purchase the medicine only just because of the brand name because maybe the similar brand name are used by the some other company for some other type of goods also because as such regulations are not maintained in our country till now but still you people have to aware about it. people are aware now in government are also thinking about how we can maintain the branding in our pharmaceuticals this is the example of the copyright trade as portion parlage they person are selling a goods by last 17 to 18 years but still the photo of the children is same they are not changing any type of label so this is called an identification like cadbury dairy milk move the shape of the goods this all are the example of the copyright traders protection how to select a trademark it should be easy to spell it should be easy to pronounce like sony tata lines you may also find or invent some new type of words kodak and dalda as such there is no meaning in the dictionary kodak and dalda mark should not be according to geographical name like ludhiana steel chandigarh salt chandigarh pharmaceutical andhra pradesh pharmaceutical and some other legis species nobody can use sub, uh, nobody can get a trademark for some religious name and like om ikunkar and shiv shakti shiv enterprises such type of brand names cannot be protected by the trademark registry avoid such type of words which describe the quality of the goods like best perfect so these all are the descriptive words you will get a certificate like this that nobody can use your brand name without your permission this is the website of the ipindia.gov and you can check any trademark yourself also you have to enter your brand name and you have to enter your class name you will get a trademark portal class 5 for the discipline class 10 for the medical devices and medical instruments class 44 for the hospital clinics and beauty skin care centers there are the form, some form and fees 4500 rupees for the individual startup and small enterprises and 9000 rupees for the large entity industrial design industrial designs are granted for ornamental feature aesthetic feature you can protect any shape configuration and how it look like say, an appearance of the goods by the industrial design it can protect only shape configuration and outer appearance it does not protect any technical feature of the goods these are the uh, example of the consumer products which is protected by the industrial design these all the things are protected by the industrial design the shape of the goods to industry everything is protected by the industrial design packaging containers pharmaceutical products textile and jewelry sabya sachi is the company uh, in the garments who can file a maximum and designed application for their textile goods in our country what is the criteria of design station design must be new and original you can't file a, a design application which is already available in the public domain everybody knows that this is a symbol of hand and foot but such type of chairs are not available in the market we can protect more than that maybe the purpose of the shape is this similar but the purpose of the use of the uh, shape is similar but the different shape can be filed for the industrial design these all are the example of the industrial design
the duration of the industrial design is 15 years after 15 years anybody can use such type of design for any type of work few things cannot be filled for the industrial design like calendars certificates maps label religious symbols these things cannot be filled for the design station india 6700 design application filed china 1.5 lakh korea 1.5 lakh japan 75000 we can apply a multiple type of hyper fractional single precursor like this is the example of the dyson airplane this machine is used for the hand sanitizing or hand drying you have to insert your hand in device and your device is automatically sanitized and dried the technique used for the dyson airplane is protected by the patent rights and the brand name dyson airplane is protected by the trademark protection and the shape of the good is protected by the industrial design and the material of literature is protected by the copyright protection means function protected by the patent and trademark expression by the copyright outer appearance by the design and the brand name by the trademark means source of the benefit protected by the trademark so story about benefit protected by the copyright and the technical benefit protected by the patent rights this is the usp of the dice and this is a very good company nowadays who are selling a good sale market copyright copyright are granted for musical work artistic work literary work dramatic work if you are means idea that in the medical form can be protected by the copyright if you are working some cinematography work if you are working some sound recordings you can protect by the copyright as such there is no official procedure of the copyright you can protect the copyright uh, by applying to the government also you have to submit form 4 in triplicate then your copyrights will be granted but if somebody can claim that that in the copyright case you have to prove that who is the first original author for the that work there are two type of rights moral rights and economic rights the moral rights belongs to the author and the economic rights belongs to the who bring the economic benefit like in the moral rights you will get a right of authorship the right of manipulation but you don't have the right for the display suppose if you are writing some books and you are going to uh, sell your uh, book to some purchaser for the publication and the publisher having a rights for the economic benefits and you have the rights for the more right suppose if you are writing a book in english and then they want to write a book in hindi translate to in hindi also in punjabi or in some other language then your name as an author must be given there as an author it doesn't change your name because if the language is different it doesn't mean that you are not a author you are a author maybe the language is uh, changed but the concept is similar so some people are doing some cinematography work on the basis of books they have to pay some penalty pay some royalty to that book this is also a criminal offense as per the section 64 which empower the police any officer not below the rank of sub inspector to seize infringing copies without warrant police raids power of search seizure and arrest fines minimum 50000 to day imprisonment 6 months to 3 years what is the fair use indian law does not specifically speak of fair use but as such there is no number of exceptions of the copyright which are listed in the copyright act the bulk of these exceptions allow the use of copyright material without a license for the purpose of research review criticism and education means you can read any type of books which is protected by the copyright for the education purposes you can use it for review purposes you can use it for criticism purpose you can also use it and educationally obviously you you can use for the education purposes also. geographical education basically to protect the particular goods which is famous in particular regions that is granted for the agriculture goods natural goods and manufacture goods you will get a rights on the three things for example kolapuri chappal tirupati laddu darwada peda darjeeling tea madhubani painting cork orange mysore jasmine mysore sandal soap mysore sandalwood oil mysore silk so these are example of the gi 
trade secret trade secret the few things cannot be filed for the patent application that can be protected by the trade secret as such there is no as such there is no uh, right there is no act in our country for the trade secrets but you can protect by the some non disclosure agreement or some other types of uh, uh, parameters like uh, employment act you can protect by the trade secrets few example of the trade secret like coca cola and the manufacturing process of the coca cola is protected by the trade secrets kfc burgers these are example of the trade secrets the drawback of the patent is you will get a right for the 20 years but in the trade secrets you will get a right for the unlimited time until unless it is not available to the public domain your rights is protected by the trade secrets there is a one organization that is called wipo world intellectual property organization who provides a diploma at free of cost so this is my request to all the students and the faculty members you can apply this course this is totally free of cost and this is an online course this is just for the awareness dl1 01 general course of five year you have to click on wipo.int then you have to click on wipo academy and this is one and a half month course you will get a certificate from the wipo beside this department of science and technology government of india providing a certificate course uh, providing a training to the students under the 20 women across the country this is called a scheme women scientist scheme c they will provide a training of learn on in which you will get a fellowship and scholarship uh, like vtech mtech m for mercy fees 30000 and phd fees 40000 thank you so much if you have any questions you are free to ask me so thank you sir thank you sir for your uh, valuable session so any questions or queries uh, the students uh, or delegates can post your questions or just you can also uh, if you have any queries you can mail to our uh, uh, esteemed speaker mr rahul tanaja sir the mail id is also on visible in this slide if you want to any queries or questions also you can post it so okay sir okay sir with this uh, uh, session we will conclude the session sir so on behalf of the management of kebra and major pharmaceutical sciences staff uh, principal staff and students so we sincerely thank you sir for sharing your uh, valuable information and uh, knowledge uh, on this intellectual property rights to our delegates and uh, and also be on behalf of the, the aacd new delhi institution innovation council also we sincerely thank you sir and we hope the same uh, cooperation and uh, sharing of knowledge with you in future also sir thank you sir thank you for your valuable presence today thank you thank you, thank you so much sir. thank you sir thank you. thank you sir thank you very much sir so with this few words we will closing the session sir and uh, to all the delegates we will meet in the afternoon session that which will be starts from 3 to 4:30 thank you thank you one and all